Hi, my name is Tianhua Li. For your convenience, you can call me Li. Remember, we're talking about we need to do the repetition so you can understand more. So today, I'm going to redo. This is a secret to overcoming anxiety because yesterday, when I'm learning from Miss Bob Proctor, I realized that a lot of people still, you know, kind of. Uh, you know, it's anxious depression. So now I'm just let's just relearn this. So pay attention, okay? Open your mind and learn. So choose whatever is good for your life, and then you know this can be change the life, okay? Basically, this is a、uh, Miss Bob Proctor at the beginning. He thanks the Tommy Collier for the suggestion because. He suggests that you know if、uh, he redo this can save a lot of people's you know the problem in the life. Anyway, and、uh, I have a side note here because I told you guys I don't have a religion, but I do believe we must have a good heart. So I changed Miss Bob Proctor's word God to universe as a respect. Okay, so let's just start.、Okay. Miss Bob Proctor start talking. You know now, like I said, since I'm、uh, every single day I'm learning, I kind of raise my awareness, so I might add in what I think. So hopefully, from my point, I see this, and then if you learn, you have your point, you can share with others. Okay, because most of the time we see we can like see different things. Even the one thing we came from different way. That's how we learn. Okay, as long we all go to the good part, we are good. Okay. And he said, "Let's really think into your mind. It's very valuable information. The subject I've been studying was me. As I know me, I know you better. Do you see we all the same? We are universe's highest form of creation. We have a marvelous mind. We live in the physical body, and we." Correspond with the material world. We can create the kind of life we want. Pay attention. You see, we can create the kind of life we want. The only two sources of reference that you have to go find anything about yourself: one is science, and the other is theology. Both clearly indicated that we are the truly highest form of creation on the planet. All the other little creatures on the planet are completely at home in their environment. They blend in. You and I are the only creature on the planet that's totally disoriented in our environment, and that's because we've been given the mental faculties to create. Our own environment. Unfortunately, not all the information that we are sharing we learn in school. We just don't learn it in school. And if we don't learn at home, odds are pretty good we don't learn it at all. We truly can create the kind of life we want, and many people go right through their life and never understand what I'm going to explain to you. This is without the question valuable information, and when I started to learn about the subject anxiety that many many people suffer from, I came to conclusion: there's no need of a person being in a state of anxiety. Now there's all kind of people taking drugs today to ease this problem that they are experiencing. I'm going to show you that as a person start to understand how their marvelous mind operates, they can eliminate anxiety and replace it with something much more beautiful. You and I have the ability to do that. I'm going to talk to you about the mind. This is the picture he used. He said, "Let's look at the mind and the paradigm. See, the paradigms are the ideas that are fixed in our mind. 
and cause us to keep operating the same way. As if we don't change a paradigm, nothing changes. So let's look at your mind and your paradigm. You can go to psychiatrist, psychologist, behavior scientist, and they will give you a lot of information. But you may not understand what they give you. There was a doctor back to around 1934. In Texas, he was very involved in the healing art, and he was very involved in mental psychics. I, I think maybe my pronouncing is right. Not right. Here is a M E T A P H Y S I C S. I look up the dictionary. I know what the word. But anyway, I told you when you learn. Put your ego away. Don't try to picking on the person. Whoever you learn from, try to get the essence from what he or she teaching. Okay, and I, let me just continue. In anything beyond the physical, we are treating symptoms all the times. We are treating effects. We are not going to the cause of the problems. We were always working from higher to lower potential, from the mind to the body. The body is a physical manifestation of the mind, and he made very, very clear that he said one of our greatest problem is no one ever seeing the mind, and yet we operate with images in our mind. So when anybody talks about the mind, they don't get a picture. Now many people get a picture of the brain when they're talking about the mind, but the brain is not the mind any more than your fingernails. The brain, as magnificent as it is, is an electronic switching station. As you think, you active brain cells alter the vibration your body or part of your body may be in. Now. Anxiety is vibration, and it's not a very healthy one. It's a very destructive one. So, I think as we start to understand some of the laws and understand how the mind works, we are way ahead of the game. I'm going to share with you what a good doctor shared with me many, many years ago, and I have taught this all over the world for a long, long time. Some of the changes that I was seeing take place in people's mind in mind boggling. Their lives have been altered like night and day. As they start to understand in mind how it operates, this good doctor's doctor Thurman Flee. He said, "No one has ever seen the mind, so I'm going to draw a picture of a mind." And he made this drawing. This is the most valuable drawing I have ever seen. The large circle is going to represent my I me. Mean, is he here? The larger one. And the small circle will represent the body. We are talking the mind, and we divide it into two parts. And we see the top part is conscious mind. The bottom part is subconscious mind. So instead of dealing with just the confusion, now you got order. The conscious mind has ability to choose. The subconscious mind does not have that ability. And the little circle is a body here.、Yeah? And whatever ideas operate in the mind are expressed through the body. And the body is the instrument of the mind. Now there is a drawing, and I want you to imagine. No, I pronounce it wrong again. Basically, you. In, oh, now my brain blocked. Anyways, basically you have make your imagination. So there is because there is a power flow into your. Consciousness, the power flow to and through us, it's never stop. Pay attention about this. 
the always power flow to and through us, never stop. So don't thinking about you don't have a chance, okay? See, when the power flows into our consciousness, we could call it thought power. If you truth, you can think anything you want. No one can cause cause you to think something you don't want to think. Now, whatever thoughts you think, turn over to your subconscious mind. But the subconscious mind is oh, I'm sorry, now something wrong. Okay, the I need to repeat re read this because I don't want to confuse. This is like a very important part. Because thinking about this, because all the when the power flows to you, it's yes, it is. You have a power to think about it's a positive or not negative. So that's very important. And here he said, no one can cause you to think something you don't want to think. Whatever thoughts you think, turn over to your subconscious mind. But the subconscious mind is programmed. What we want to do is learn how to control the flow, and we want to learn how to control the flow of thought energy. You see, we really in charge of our results. The results that we get in our life can be altered without any difficulty. When this energy, when is a negative, when when is a positive, you can think anything you want. You can choose to think of what you don't want, or you can choose to think what you do want. You can look what's wrong with life, or you can look at what's right with it. You do have choice. That the power you can build it into anything you choose. Unfortunately, most of the people stay in ignorant states. They never really understand themselves. Ignorance is simple, not knowing. The opposite side of ignorance, of course, is knowledge. Knowledge is really available to us. You know, a lot of seminars today, people, you know, talking, but give you a lot of energy, new you knowledges. You know, some are very valuable, some not. That's why I said when I try to share with you guys that whatever you want to learn, you want to learn something, you know, from the people who they are successful. So you you see the result, not just that someone just keep talking. Okay. Anyway, here I said there is a lot of knowledge around. Us about you, about what make you take, and why you live the way you live. Now we have a choice. We can choose whatever we want. You can choose to think what's wrong, or you can choose to think what's right. Why would a person choose to worry or doubt? See, if we back it up, the problem is the ignorance. That's really the problem. They don't understand the situation. Doubt and worry are both psychic diseases. It plays into the negative side of life. So this power flows in. You can build anything out of you want. We worry. Why do we worry? Well, there's not enough money to meet my need, or you know, things might not turn out the way we choose. Because basically, we are kind of looking outside, let outside control us. And he keeps repeating, like we got the ability to choose anything we want. And he said, when we build the negative idea, that's what we're doing. Because if you worry a doubt, that's a negative idea. When we are taking the power and building the negative idea, we take that impress that negative idea upon our subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is an emotion mind. So we are going to emotionally involve with negative idea. That just set up the vibration called fear. Fear is negative emotion. 
The causeway to the primary cause is ignorance, but the food cause is the worry or doubt. When that fear is expressed, it must be expressed through the body. We build idea, a negative idea, and we imp impress it. That set up fear, and when it's expressed, it, it expresses itself as anxiety. People do not enjoy anxiety. It causes a lot of problems. Anxiety is not expressed. Anxiety is suppressed. What happens when we suppress anxiety? We bottle that thing up. We turn into depression. That's what happens. So do you see? Anxiety is a cause of depression, but it's not the primary. It's not the initial cause. The initial cause is ignorance. From ignorance, then we go to the worry, doubt. Here, that picture here again, and then we to the fear, to anxiety, suppress anxiety, and then turn into the depression, and depression turns into disease. That's a body that's not at ease, and then we got a very uptight. We suppress this negative energy, and the body start to break down. But the root cause is ignorance. So the body move to this integration. Okay, let's suppose a person is logged into the side of life. They see to worry about everything and anything, so they suffering from anxiety. They find suffering from depression. Why? It's because of choosing the wrong thought. It's caused by ignorance. They just don't simply understand. So we are going to eliminate this ignorance with knowledge. And he mentioned, like、uh, Solomon one time said, "All you want to get is getting understanding." But how do we get that? We get it by moving over into the other side, understanding. Understanding is opposite of doubt and worry. The only way to get understanding is study. That's the only way you have to study. Remember, I told you guys after. Uh, late July this year, I get hooked with Miss Bob Proctor and the、uh, Oprah's wisdom, like about this、uh, spirit thing. I like never stop to study their subject. And here is that understanding the answer to the enormous problem, not just one problem, many problems. What do we want to understand? You have those two symbols, right? The negative and the positive. Those represent the law of polarity. Polarity is a law that decreases everything as an opposite. There is up and down, right? They're hot and cold. There's like they're negative, and everything there's negative and the positive. Think about this. I never pay attention a lot, even when I try to see myself. You think about one side, maybe I'm super, you know, brave or stand, you know, for my point. But the other side, maybe people can see you is a stubborn. So, like I said, when you study, you keep thinking you need to, no matter what we have, a, you know, like a, everything is good and bad. But you just try to develop all the good part. Okay. So, but you know there's positive next, so you know you understand that. And then that way is easy for you to thinking, okay? But the only way to get to the, through study and understanding leads to the opposite side of fear, which is faith. Faith, based on understanding, is truly the key to pro freedom. Who don't want the freedom, right? Here's a strange thing: both the fear and the faith demand we believe in something that we cannot see. Thinking of it for a moment, fear manifests in anxiety. But what is manifesting? Well-being. 
You are seeing a person that's very relaxed. They're very cool. They're happy. They're healthy. There's something wonderful in their life, and start with their own thinking. You see, all down through history, all the greatest leaders have been in complete animals. Oh no, I pronounce it wrong again. This basically is、so、every everybody thinking the same thing. For this one, they always agree with the other. Can they pronounce it? Uner, uner mores. Told you again. English not my first language, but try to learn the essence from here. Okay, so basically everybody agree for this point. It's like we become what we think about. So why do person choosing to sleep over at the ignorant side? Because they are ignorant. They don't know. Of course, you know everyone is ignorant. No one knows everything. But we can learn. We can study. So all the knowledge there ever was or ever will be is available to us. But we're going to have to study to get it. The beautiful part of this, when you eliminate ignorance, you get understanding. The understanding leads to the faith, and the faith leads to well-being. You see, we're talking about anxiety is suppressed, well-being is expressed. Do you see here? Almost everything is a polar opposite. The expression turns to acceleration, and it is because we are at ease. The at ease is a polar opposite side of this ease. And now we like happy, so we creation. Remember, we always call us a cre creating being. See here, people just break down when they are in disease, but they are in, they are at ease. They get stronger. The body is at ease, then turn into the creation. Its vibration in perfect harmony with the law of the universe. This is such a phenomenal subject, and it's one of the anyone and everyone should be studying. Remember, the other side turned to disin disintegration. This side to turn to creation. We have a choice. I think you do, and I think I do. Which side are you going to lock into? Negative or positive? Without doubt, right? We should do this part. So, of course, he mentioned he want us to watching this one hundred time. I don't want one hundred time yet, but I try to learn and repeating. And also remember what your loved ones, your friends, whoever suffering this anxiety, tell them watching this, share with them. So, rather than let them run drugstore, let them run into their marvelous mind. Get them get study something. Just think about that. Make it simple. Think about it as a two road. This side is negative. This side is positive. If you study, you understand, and you know if. We both need to believe fear or faith. Why don't you choose a faith, right? So, just from now on, whatever comes in, either you know, we said the the power flows in, flows to and through us all the time. But think about it, make it easy. If you still don't believe you are the spiritual being yet, at least like when you watch news or whatever people tell you story, use your Reason, you see, this helping for my goal or for my well-being is good. I take it. If not, I I reject it because you know our conscious mind have ability to reject. You can think there, and then 
If it's helping you, you get involved with the emotions, so you press down to your subconscious mind. Remember, subconscious mind is like a blank, like a like a land. Whatever you plan there, they give you back. So you can try to plan the good part, right? So now, like I said, whatever I learned, think about Miss Bob Proctor. Read the book Thinking Grow Rich since nineteen sixty one. And then it took him nine and a half years to get why he changed. He shared. Remember, I told you from now on, you know you are spiritual being, you are creating being. You have power inside you. You can decide. So stop those competition thing. Like oh, if he or she get it, I don't get. It. No, we are dealing with the infinite. Don't worry. If you learn every single day, like now I realize every single day I'm learning. Even I read the same sentence, I have different feeling. So thinking about whatever going on, we cannot control outside, but you can change. It's only one corner in the universe. You can change. It's you. It doesn't mean we ignore outside. We just tell ourselves, you know, I cannot control. But what can I do? I can change my. Thinking change my perception, and I know everything with good. There is a bad thing too. So basically, I try to find from the bad, see the good. Remember, everything has positive sides. So all the training in your body find something good. Anyway, I hope you like this. This is like a super important thing about people going through anxiety or depression. If you you tell them stop worrying doubt. Think, try to understand whatever get happening in the life. Remember, Miss Bob Proctor share his friends share something. Whatever happened in your life, three step approaching. One, it is what it is. Accept it. Either it come to you or you come to it. Two, harvest the good. If everything there's a good inside, maybe it's hard to find, but as long as you're seeking, you will find. Three, forgive the rest. Remember that. Always try to focus on this side. Okay. Thank you again. Share this message. So hopefully we take the two road. We always come this side, right? It doesn't mean something bad will not happen. Will happen, but we understand if something bad and something good will come up too. Hey, talk to you soon.